Hi, my name is Happy Awana. Over the past year, we've been seeing an appalling increase in gender-based violence and human trafficking in Namibia. It's needless to say that we need immediate intervention from our police force as well as judiciary system. But I couldn't help but think of what else we can do to help our women feel safe and to aid them with some techniques on self-defense. So I reached out to these incredible gentlemen alongside me from Gojiru Karate Namibia. And they're going to be teaching me some basic but crucial defense tactics. So gentlemen, please introduce yourselves. Okay, so my name is Sensei Stefan van der Marwe. I'm a third degree black belt here at Okinawa Goju Karate in Namibia. With me today, I have a close friend and student of mine, Jonas Amoniela. And um, yeah, when Happy reached out to us to make this video, obviously we were very excited. Um, Self-defense is something that we preach and that we teach every day. So, um, and obviously with the current situation of things, we found it um, obvious to try to reach out and get involved and teach a couple of crucial self-defense techniques that could come in handy in a self-defense situation. One disclaimer though, um, the video or the techniques and things that we're going to do in this video today aren't meant to make you a black belt, aren't meant to make you a fighter and are just a small touch or a small, small part of what um, real self-defense can be. Self-defense scenarios are dynamic, um, they're often brutal and it can be a matter of life and death so the techniques and the theory that we're going to do today is meant to just be like Happy said, just a bit of a fundamental um, insight into some self-defense techniques and that might come in handy in a real self-defense situation. So to start, I thought we'd maybe start with the most fundamental of techniques which is just the basic punch okay. and to do that we need to do a fist first. Right. So from here we're going to start by rolling in our pinky finger nice and tight, squeeze your fingers into the palm of your hand and then press the thumb, thumb down on top of the fingers, okay. squeezing the fist nice and tight. Now when we punch happy, you're going to want to punch with these two knuckles over here. And you want to line them up with the bones in your forearm. If your wrist is twisted, you can end up folding your wrist as you make impact with the opponent. And that's going to end up hurting you more. That's why boxers wrap their wrists so tightly when they go into a fight. So you're going to feel that just now. Okay. Or hopefully not feel the pain, but you're going to feel what I mean when we punch the bag just now. So let's just do a couple of punches in the air just so you can get the gist of it. So from here, as we punch, you're going to twist your fist, keeping the arm nice and straight, keeping the fist nice and straight, making impact with those two knuckles over there. So Jonas, if you quickly want to grab the punch bag over there, and I'll show you how the punch looks if you were to do it against an opponent, and then you're going to have a chance to feel it for yourself. Okay, okay let's just turn this one around. There we go. Cool. So, for now, we're just going to be in a nice comfortable position with the left leg in front because that's most commonly comfortable for people. Okay. And you're going to be punching with your right hand. When you punch from here, we're going to have our hands up and you're going to make impact, like I said, with these two knuckles over there and making sure to keep your wrist nice and straight. We don't want the wrist to bend or fold against the bag. Nice, proper impact every time. Okay, okay, so come and give it a go. All right. That's actually pretty good. Okay. okay, so how do your hands feel? Ah, they actually pain a little bit. I can see what you mean. Yeah. Especially here in the knuckles. And then because I have nails, the nails are actually also, you know, causing a bit of pain. Yeah, so unfortunately with the nails, they don't always, they're not always that beneficial with regards to making a fist mm. because they do get in the way and they do press into your palm. Yeah. But they can come in handy for a couple of other techniques which we'll get into in the second part of this video. Okay. Um, but we'll get into that just now. For now, I just want to give you some tips with regards to the punches. Obviously, this is punching a bag. This is even softer than what, what a human being is like. A human being is bone and muscle. So you want to make sure that when you do punch someone, you punch them in the right area. Just put the bag down for you, please, Jonas. So just a couple of vital areas that you're going to want to be punching at. Obviously, we have the face, but you're not just going to want to hit him on the cheekbone. Generally, the jaw is a little bit softer. It's very good for making the head shake and disorientating your opponent. Okay. Obviously, the eye throat, very nice soft area, cause a lot of damage there if you can hit someone in the throat. Okay. And then along the rib line, the lowest part of the ribs, all of these ribs break quite easily. So that's a nice place to punch when you punch someone on the body. You don't necessarily want to punch up here on the chest because this is hard. So okay. you always want to try to make impact with the softest possible area. Obviously the groin, great area to attack to, especially for women. Yeah. Um, 
generally the attacker would be a, a man in that case, so this is going to be one of the crucial um, attacking areas that we're going to go into. But we're going to talk about a few other techniques that might be a bit more beneficial for ladies um, in the second part of this video, so hope you guys enjoyed that and stay tuned. So like I said at the beginning of the video, these are just some crucial tips that you guys can learn at home. Stay tuned for some more advanced tips. Thank you for watching.